So this one says, and usually what I do, if I'm going to add this stuff to my research notes, I will put AI generated summary, and then I will put this in quotes. And so it's like based on the information in the 1910 U.S. federal census, in 1910, I don't even know how to pronounce this, in Flonesby Ward, Brook, West Virginia, Melinda, it says Cass, but her name was Coss, a 52-year-old uh, widowed woman from Pennsylvania, was the head of household that included her three children, Bessie, Wade, and Elizabeth. Despite being widowed, Melinda had 13 children, all of whom were living. She owned a house in Davidson Edition where she lived with her children and a boarder named Benjamin Hopkins. Melinda, who was able to read and write in English, maintained a close-knit family unit in her rented home, surrounded by her neighbors in the community. I just want to point out one thing. In the upper part of this AI-generated document, it says she owned a home, and then later it says she rented a home. So make sure you are checking to verify the information that you find generated by any AI document. Okay, so if we take a look at that, you can see obviously where it is uh, grabbing some of that information. Where is she? Here she is. So here's Melinda. It it made comment that she was widowed and who was living in the household with her and where she was from, that she could speak English, that she could read and write, and she is renting her home. And so it's... Uh, it's pulling that together and kind of creating a little narrative. So I just wanted to share that.